Cockroaches are usually associated with rotting food, festering smells, and dirt. But these critters could one day form the basis for a sterile hospital environment and help to fend off infections. These species, these organisms are surviving in an environment where we cannot even imagine to live. So the question is that how come these things are able to survive in these conditions in one of some of the most filthy places known to man, yet they're not being killed by the presence of the superbug. The secret to their survival could lie inside the cockroach's brain. A team at Britain's University of Nottingham has discovered nine different molecules in the brains which are toxic to bacteria. Basically, brain is uh, have lobes, so you just pick them up and just scoop it like that and then put it in this tube here. Dr. Khan's team claims the insect's brain tissue and nervous system were able to kill more than 90% of MRSA and E. coli bacteria without harming human cells. Synthesizing the molecules could have huge implications for fighting infections. Research like Dr. Khan's, um, where there's a possibility of developing a novel antimicrobial compound, that is just amazing. If we could find um, a new compound which can treat a lot of these MRSA or E. coli or bacterial infections here, we wouldn't need to rely on such... Um, there's only one or two antibiotics available at the moment which do treat multi-drug resistant infections. So if, if we can find something like this, um, if, we, if he can produce a compound, then this will be great for us. We are de in desperate need for some new drugs here. Transforming the cockroach's brain into a usable form is a multi-step process. The brains are extracted from the host and the solid tissues are separated using a centrifuge. What's left is a clear liquid serum with antimicrobial properties. Cockroaches have been reviled through the centuries and eradication efforts have all been futile. This latest discovery could offer up a reason why they still prosper, and just perhaps it's to benefit us. Mark Hamrick, The Associated Press.